it's anything else that I haven't asked you this morning that uh, you know you might like to um, you might like to share with us right now. I think um, something that I told you before, REA, that I would like to repeat and say, and it's not that this particular group of people really needs to hear it, but I think it's really important to say that any of this work that anybody is doing does not have to be done by a professional or take a lot of money because, uh, you know, our background is Lynn's a children's dentist and I was a social worker, but we were never really trained in conflict resolution, mediation, and all of that stuff. Everything we've learned, we've learned through experience, just bringing people together, taking a chance, um, trying things out, making mistakes, but it was always about people and it was always about relationships. And I feel like if we keep that in mind, and I know uh, Claudia and Marty bringing the community together to work on water, perfect, perfect opportunity to not just focus on water, but to build the community and build relationships. And so it, it, whatever the issue is, even if it's just getting to know your neighbors, anybody can initiate it anytime, any place. And so I think, you know, I, I was telling Lynn, I heard Rubio or whatever his name is, who came on this morning and said he was running for president of the United States. And he said the first two things he's going to do is cut off the new relationship with Cuba and cut off the work in Iran to write the nuclear treaty. And I'm thinking, you know, is that going to really inspire people to think – about building a world that's in cooperation and in relationship. Here his first thing is cutting off relationships. I don't know, but it just boggles my mind. It really, really does. And I know there's all these political implications, but what is going to solve our problems more than everybody really digging in and understanding the power of getting to our neighbor and our community and our world community? We, it, that's if we don't do that now it's curtains that's what i feel thank you libby when what, what would you like to share with us that i i haven't asked so far i think just what libby said in a few words is that um the most important thing to grasp is that we're all one and that uh, every decision we make in life, every day, every hour, if it's made from the principle that, that all is one, everything is interrelated, and how can my decision be for moving toward one another, cooperating with the planet, being sure the whole living system is working down through time, what could be more important? So I think always returning to the principle that uh, we're all one. <laughs>